What we can do is we can delay the future. And that's what this talk is really about, is, how, is what can we do in, in our lives to delay the future, and particularly with respect to digital audio and DSP. So, kind of put in some context, we have been delaying the future for certain applications in the past. And since this is an audio presentation, let's talk about one or two of those. So, one of them that comes to mind was actually in the way we uh, master vinyl discs. So if you think about a vinyl disc, um, you've got this disc here, and you'd like to be able to put each of these grooves close together, as close as you can, because the closer together they are, the longer your playing time. But if they're too close together, and you have, you know, someone hits a, a kettle drum, you have a problem because there's not enough room for the groove. So a trick came about, because, <clears throat> and what we did, I'm going to just erase this for a minute. I think you remember what a, what a vinyl disc looks like. And we took a tape machine, and I'm not a particularly good artist, but here's a reel, and here's the, a, a take-up reel far away. And what, what people would do is they'd build, they'd put a record head here. So this is my record head. And they put a playback head here. This is a playback head. And if I record here and play back here, some time has elapsed. And I'd pick that amount of time on back on my LP again, so that if I was here, I could look in the, I could look half a revolution away. So essentially, I could anticipate what was going to happen half a revolution ahead, and then I could adjust the width of the cutter head to anticipate when I needed to go wide and when I didn't. And if I did that appropriately on, on music that had um, maybe mixed tracks, you know, mixed pieces where I needed more cutter head space or less, I could basically get longer playing time. And this was commonly done back when tape machines was the way we did recordings and, and the way we mastered things. Um, you know, this would have been a good tape machine and fairly, you know, fairly expensive, but it was a, a technique used and this loop might have been a little bit, you know, strung out a little bit.